Today I want to give you 20 food swaps that you can do for the autoimmune paleo diet, or AIP diet, instead of regular standard American foods. So I think one of the hardest parts about doing AIP is that people are kind of scared of all of the things that they can have. It is a lot different than the regular standard American diet and quite different from even paleo. I think this fear holds a lot of people back, but it really shouldn't. And today I want to give 20 different swaps that you can do, uh, food swaps that will just make life a little bit easier for you. Number one, coconut aminos for soy sauce. Now coconut aminos are just a fermented sap. Uh, it's like the nectar of a coconut blossom from a palm tree blended with sea salt, but it tastes remarkably like soy sauce and it gives that same kind of umami flavor to any dish. Now number two are tiger nuts instead of nuts and even oats in some recipes. I've made granola with tiger nuts instead. Now tiger nuts, uh, this is like the organic Gemini brand um, here in the US. I believe they're called something different in Europe. I can't remember exactly what it is, uh, but they're actually a tuber, not a nut. So they are completely compliant on AIP. Number three kind of goes along with this, and that's tiger nut butter instead of a nut or seed butter. Now, this Roots tiger nut butter uh, can be bought. I've got it on Amazon, and I've seen it in some other places, but it's a really good replacement for that nut butter that you may want on some sort of baked good or just, you know, like a pita butter and jelly kind of wrap or something like that. Number four is coconut or tiger nut milk instead of cow's milk. These uh, replace it pretty much one-to-one -one and they do a great job. Number five are veggie noodles, like uh, butternut squash noodles, sweet potato noodles, zucchini noodles, any of these kind of vegetables that you can spiralize instead of pasta. Uh, they make a great kind of dish. Uh, you can also do spaghetti squash. Number six is avocado oil instead of canola oil or any of the other kind of vegetable oils, sunflower oil, peanut oil, all of those. What I like about avocado oil is that it's already in the liquid state, so you don't have to melt it like coconut oil, but you can use coconut oil as well. Number seven is mace instead of nutmeg. Now mace is like, I think it's like the, the outer shell or something of the, the plant. Um, so it's not, it's, it's part of the same plant and it tastes like nutmeg, but you can't have seeds and seed-based spices on autoimmune paleo, so uh, nutmeg's out, but mace will replace it perfectly in all of those pumpkin spice baked goods you wanna make at this time of year. Number eight is a combination of carob, chicory root, and dandelion root tea instead of coffee. This combination, while t it takes a little bit of getting used to, is actually like a surprisingly good com or, uh, replacement for coffee. It has no caffeine and it has none of the effects of coffee because coffee is a seed uh, and we avoid seeds on AIP. But it, um, if you get the ratio right for you, it, it provides the right amount of bitterness and everything that you're expecting from a cup of coffee. Number nine is carob for chocolate or cocoa powder. And this can be used in anything, baked goods. I made lots of carob chip cookies while I was doing AIP. Um, you can use it uh, as a drizzle with some coconut oil on top of fresh fruit. It's, it's a good, good replacement. I can't say it's my favorite. I definitely like chocolate better, but while on AIP, it works. Number 10 are white sweet potatoes instead of white regular russet potatoes. You'd be surprised about how not sweet white sweet potatoes are. And the fact that they are that white color also can trick your brain into thinking that you're not having something so sweet. So I like to vary, have some sweet potatoes and white sweet potatoes uh, for various meals. Number 11 is cauliflower rice for rice. Just take a food processor or blender and pulverize the cauliflower until it is rice-like shapes. Or you can now buy pre-riced cauliflower usually in your vegetable section at your grocery store or in the freezer section. Number 12 is if you want that cheesy kind of flavor without cheese, you can use nutritional yeast. It gives a little bit of like that cheddary kind of flavor to dishes. Number 13 are thinly sliced zucchini, butternut squash, or sweet potatoes in place of lasagna noodles. You can still make lasagna you're not gonna be able to put the cheese in it, but you can still put the meats and the other kind of vegetables and stuff like that and make a delicious lasagna. Number 14 is instead of tortilla chips or regular white potato chips, you can do sweet potato chips, plantain chips, or cassava chips. And these are a really good replacement, especially if you wanna like dip some guac or anything like that. Uh, plantain chips hold up really well for that. Number 15 is regular cow's milk yogurt. You can do coconut milk yogurt, but I do caution you, you probably should make it at home by yourself because the stuff in the store has a lot of additives in it. And the 
homemade stuff, uh, if you do it, you should use either a starter that is AIP compliant, which I'm not really sure of one, so I would recommend using probiotic pills instead. Number 16 is instead of a soda drink, uh, have kombucha. Number 17, instead of corn tortillas, have cassava flour tortillas. Downshiftology has a great recipe for cassava flour tortillas, which I will link to in the description. Number 18, instead of cornstarch, use our root powder or our root starch, same thing, just different name. Number 19, instead of baking powder in a recipe, you can use baking soda and cream of tartar. I will give a recipe for that in the link below by Squirrel in the Kitchen. It's a good just kind of uh, mixture that you can make yourself of making your own baking powder that is AIP and compliant no corn or anything in it. And number 20 is instead of butter, you can use coconut oil or palm shortening. Now, I wouldn't say that's like to, to flavor, you know, put it on top of a baked good, but it's instead of in recipes or something like that, uh, you can do those one for one. I hope this helped. I was thinking of this the other day because I was creating more resources for my paleo freebie library and I was adding more stuff to my AIP section because it was kind of lacking. So uh, one of the ones that I'm putting in there is the swap thing. So if you go to the link below to sign up for the Paleo Freebie Library, you can access that along with 25 AIP snacks and an uh, overview. But if you're watching this, you probably already know all about AIP, so the overview might be a little overkill. <laughs> Anyway, um, on Tuesday, I'm excited because we're gonna do a little bit different than the regular vlog. I'm going to be uh, interviewing Simon Chang of Peak Tea, who went through a major like health crisis when he was in his early 20s and, that, and found out through the use of tea as like medicine and then also something he calls medicinal breath work, he was able to get better. So he's gonna come and share with us how to do this medicinal breath work and uh, how, all about his tea and how it, like, it really made a huge difference in his life. So I'm really excited about that. It's gonna be an interview style, so I will post that for you guys on Tuesday. And until then, have a great weekend.